Yeah, welcome back to KM6OYW Radio, a show about amateur radio or ham radio with an emphasis on digital or data modes, moving information back and forth, reimagining amateur radio in the information age, keeping it relevant. Hey, today I've got a noise problem, guys. I, it's out of control. It's like electrical line noise. It's going crazy. So I thought I'd look at noise reduction techniques. You know, there's a every radio has a noise blanker, noise reduction, maybe an auto notch. Those are kind of like the three ends of noise reduction. Let's talk about them this time on KM6 LYW Radio. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Welcome back. Cheap of our music. I'm having to learn the new jingles here. Uh, I, I, we've got over 100 videos. So that means I've picked out 100 jingles. Is that right? Anyways. Hey, I've got noise problems here. Uh, maybe you guys can help me identify this noise because, I mean, it sounds like electrical line noise, man. It is everywhere. It's not in my near field, but it's just crazy. So let's look at the noise I've got. Let's see if we can reduce it. Uh, and if you can identify this noise or maybe you've heard this noise, uh, let me know in the notes. I could really use your help. All right, so this is it. You can, I'll turn it on here in a sec. So this is the noise. Ah, it's killing me. I'll turn it up. It's unbearable. All right. I think that's electrical line noise. It's on all bands. It's on AM. It even gets up into VHF. Uh, it's just that, that, that really bad static. You can see it on the scope down here. Let me get it on there. Uh, it's just insane. Um, it comes and goes. It's not always the same strength. You can see it flickers in and out. And sometimes it'll run for nine seconds and then be quiet for 20 seconds. And then it'll do that cycle over and over. But it's always that 60 hertz type of thing. You know, it's six megahertz. It's really bad. In fact, I was walking around with the HT. I'm getting it over the hill, you know, half a mile from here. It's, it's really into every band there is even VHF. So I don't know if I'm going to complain just yet to somebody because I don't know where it is, to be honest. And uh, I figure as soon as it starts wiping out television, which I'm sure it's doing, you know, HD television here, um, it'll get a little more intention. Uh, since people can't, you know, get their reruns of Honey Boo Boo, that's really what's important. So <laughs> that's the noise problem I have here today. Um, so what can we do about it? Uh, there's a few different things. I call them the three ends of, ham of amateur radio. So that's noise reduction, noise blanking, and notch. Um, let's talk, maybe talk about what those are. I know you've all seen them on your HF rigs and you've toggled them and they do different things. Um, so let's see if we can make this a little bit better. I'm going to make it so this noise isn't completely unbearable. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is maybe... Um, the noise blanker. So what's the difference between noise blanker and noise reduction? So the noise blanker is a technique of getting rid of like pops, pop sounds that are across the entire band, not just in your in your pass band. Um, so if it's easy, so this is basically for lightning and electric fences. So if you've got lightning and electric fence problems, the noise blanker is what you want. Now, if you've just got weird static and it's an objectionable noise, you know, acoustically, um, you might want to toy, try noise reduction. That'll make that horrible hiss sound a little more bearable. Um, usually makes the, the volume a little quieter. You want to turn up the volume when you engage it. And then we've got auto notch. This is when you've got, uh, you know, people tuning up on band, you know, on on the, on frequency. If you tune up your rig, go three kilohertz either way before you tune up because everyone can hear that tone. So if maybe there's a CW signal that's kind of where you're listening and you just want to block that out, the notch filter will totally nail that. So let's see if I can use these features, the noise reduction, noise blanker, and notch to get rid of some of these 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 horrible audio problems so i'm going to turn this on so you can hear it and we're watching the waterfall display here we are on 20 meters upper sideband and you can't hear it just yet but this is a waterfall this is miracat cat i know you guys are going to ask my ria cat um, this is an audio pass band spectrum analyzer um, i've got it between zero and three kilohertz which is Pretty much what single sideband's doing. And then below here, I've got waterfall view or WF view. You guys can see that. This is basically how I can control the radio. So it kind of it's kind of just a radio remote. And again, this all works on Raspberry Pi or Linux. This happens to be my Linux desktop. So let's get let's look at this noise. Um, I'm gonna turn it on for you. It's unbearable. Isn't that awful? Actually, I've been waiting for it to come and go. You know, I know when I'm gonna make this video, it's, it's gonna go, but right now it's pretty bad. So let me go into the functions on this radio. So I've got noise reduction on the ICOM 7300. And now there's a tone. Someone tuning up. 
<laughs> this would be a good good time to do the auto notch. Nah, he stopped. He was tuning up. So noise reduction, noise blanker. Again, this is for pops. This is for lightning and electric fences. And then notch. Um, I'm going to change the frequency here just to get off of that guy. That's one way to get rid of noise is change frequencies. All right, so let's go back here. So noise reduction. Um, let's start with the noise blanker and see if I can get rid of this this horrible noise. So I'm going to turn it on. Now it got louder and you don't hear the, the grind of that electrical arcing noise, right? So I'm going to turn it off. It got quieter because it actually thinks there's signal there. Now when I turn on the noise blanker, the reason it's different is because that noise is across the entire band, not just in my pass band. And so it's like, well, if it's on the entire band, it's probably a pop and it's objectionable and it'll suppress those pops. So let me turn it off again. All right, that's horrible. That's arguably better because it's more of that hiss that you want rather than the grind. So that's noise blanker. So again, electric fences and lightning and this electrical noise, it's going to get rid of that. Um, I'll turn that off. I know you can, you can only take so much static for so long, right? So that, that is the noise blanker. And it helps with that electrical noise. So I've been using that a lot lately. This has been happening for months. In fact, it's even over here on, uh, you can see it on VHF. I've got uh, VHF like APRS running over here with the DigiPi, and you can see that the, that electrical noise is way up there in VHF too. So hopefully it will get fixed somewhere. I don't, I don't even know where to begin. Um, so that's the noise blanker. All right, so let's talk about um, one other thing that I didn't mention I kind of want to go over. So I've got, it's on upper sideband mode right now. And this is not what you want to use for data. So first of all, this is a channel about data modes. So for data modes, all of this should be turned off. The noise reduction, noise blanker, auto notch off, all of that should be off. And then of course you want to be in data mode. So watch what happens to the waterfall display when I select date, turn on data mode. Check that out. See how it's a lot wider? You know, the, the data mode um, actually has a, a equal emphasis on the audio, whereas when you're not in data mode and you're just listening to upper sideband, um, acoustically it's less objectionable to a human ear to, 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 to roll off the bass and roll off the treble. So again, let me turn off data mode, you'll see the, the bass and treble kind of roll off here. You see on the left side and the right side, it just turns down the volume a little bit there. So when you're in data modes, you want to make sure all of the noise reduction stuff is off, 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 off. I'm looking for that. Um, this will totally kill APRS if you have noise reduction on. In fact, I get that one a lot. Quite a few of you ask about that. And then make sure when you're in data mode, um, it, it gets rid of that roll off on the bass and the treble. So I can turn on data right here. And you can kind of hear the difference. Let's see if you can. So this is with uh, data mode on and data mode off. I mean, arguably sounds better, right? With data mode off. This is for the human ear. This is for the computer ear, right? They're different ears. Computers don't care what it sounds like. They just want a nice, even level audio pass band right there. So let me, uh, since it's in data mode, I can turn this down. All right, so we did noise blanker. Let's talk about noise reduction a little bit. Um, noise reduction, again, uses an algorithm and it really depends on each radio, like Yesu's algorithm and ICOM's algorithms are completely different. Again, it just gets make, make that hiss just a little more tolerable, a little less objectionable to the human ear. Um, but you know, don't use this when you're when you're using data mode. So let's just turn on. Uh, I'm a, I am in a pass band right now. I'm going to turn on noise reduction. I can turn on the noise so you can hear it. And I can turn noise reduction on. See, it really killed the volume, and you get more of a hiss. It's less objectionable. I got to turn up the volume actually, you know, to make that sound a little better. So that's with noise reduction on and then off. It actually kind of gets rid of that crackle and pop too. It's not too bad, but it definitely kills a lot of the volume. They all have that in common. So uh, let me go over here to a signal. We can listen to somebody. Man, it's just severe. Come on, you guys, start transmitting on 20. All right, so this is an actual signal. Let's turn on noise reduction. I think it's better. It gets rid of a lot of the hiss behind the guy's voice, right? And when there's a strong signal, it kind of suppresses that electrical line noise. So I'm going to turn on notch, or I'm sorry, noise blanker and noise reduction. And I'm liking that. 
So when you're listening to this stuff, yeah, it's not probably a good idea to use noise reduction and noise blankers. You're getting rid of lightning, electric fences, and you know any uh, hissing and excessive kind of electrical noise. So this is cool. Just remember to turn it off in data modes. All right, so that leaves us. I can turn all this stuff off because I'm usually in data mode. So that leaves us with, I'm going to mute this, auto notch. Put this over here. So auto notch is when you've got that one tone, that one spur, someone's tuning up a radio, maybe it's a CW guy, kind of where you're listening, you just want to hear him. It'll actually just filter out just a tiny portion of the pass band, and you can usually define the width of that of that filter. So I can go over here to, uh, let's go up to FT8 so we can actually see these signals. This is kind of cool, you can see FT8 here. You know, if you zoom in the audio band, you can actually see the signals moving, you know, between what the four or five locations that they move. Um, so that guy actually sounds pretty good. So, in fact, let me see if there's a CW guy out here somewhere. And I can actually filter out the CW signal using the auto notch or just regular notch. I don't know what that is. I know you guys can't hear it. I'm looking on the, uh, you can see, well, I guess you can see it on the pass bands on the radio and here. Let me find a CW guy. This is the one time I don't see CW folks right here. Let me try a different band altogether. Well, there's FT8. Where are you CW operators today? You guys know you're out there. Ah. There's one. Ah, he just went away for a sec. Maybe we'll hear his buddy. All right, here it is. So you guys should be able to hear that. Now, what if I don't want to hear that, but I want to hear everything else kind of around it? I can do that with the notch. So let me just turn that on. So the notch, this is auto notch. It's going to try and find that tone wherever it is in your audio passband and suppress it. You can see it kind of obliterated it. It's still there. I can still kind of hear it. I know you guys can. So let's put it on a, a mid manual notch. And then I can, when I hold down the notch here, I can actually move that around. So I'm going to move the position over that CW signal. And it's gone. I moved that notch. You can totally see that big blank spot. So, you know, if someone's tuning up there all the time, sometimes it's just like in a dog pile. You'll hear people tuning up constantly. Um, and I'm looking at you, Americans. I don't know, what's this, what social etiquette problem? So don't tune up on a dog pile, you know, when someone's calling up CQ. Um, or everyone's going to have their auto notches on to try and kill where those, those auto tune-ups are. Well, anyways, that's the notch filter as well. So I think we covered We covered the, uh, the noise blanker. We covered the noise reduction, which is kind of a human acoustic thing. And we covered the notch. And then we also covered data mode versus not data mode, where we're, that's where it kind of rolls off the high end, low ends. Um, and again, for data modes, all of this should be off. I just can't emphasize that enough. You know, you people are uh, uh, people are calling in or not calling in, e calling into the channel. That would be cool. We should have a like, call in, you know, have a phone ring. Anyways, people are emailing says, man, you know, my, I, I can hear the APR signal. Um, or I can hear the data signal coming through, but it just does. I don't get the decodes. It's like, man, I know you've got some filtering. I find it and turn it off. Make sure you're in data mode. It really, that, uh, that noise reduction really kills the data modes. Um, so that's how that works. So, hey, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and watching me deal with this noise, which is just, just awful i wish i wish i knew where it was coming from i wish i knew what it was you know i've talked to some people uh, it really sounds electric like electrical line noise something's arcing i'm kind of waiting until the next rainfall until it washes off the insulator that might be arcing but then again i've got this weird scenario where it comes on for nine seconds and then off for 20 seconds and it'll cycle through like that a lot too so i don't know what it is so tell me in the notes if you think you know what my noise problem is here. And so uh, none of this would be possible without the patrons here, guys. Thank you very much. Um, I know I've got a list of patrons here. Um, so patrons, you guys are killing it. Um, God, there's so many of you. I, it's getting to the point where I'm not going to be able to read all the names here. So Steve, NW2W, Fu, Andrew, uh, Brian, Jake, thank you so much. Chris, Ryan, Jim, Bradley, Malcolm, Paul, uh, Eddie, uh, cruising down the list here. Q1Q, hey, I heard about your situation there. Hey, thanks for, for joining. I really appreciate it. Kevin, Kyle, James, Isaac, M. Butts, Mark, Bob, uh, David, Louis, Mike, uh, Brent, uh, James, Ed, Gills, Don, James, Brett, Simon. Look, there's there's so many here. I'm halfway through. 
I'm still scrolling, you guys. Thank you for the support. This means really does mean a lot to me. It really does help with the channel. It helps me buy all of this gear. So, you know, when we're, when we're doing raspberry pies and stuff, you know how expensive these things are, right? So it really does help. In fact, I just ordered a Raspberry Pi 3B+. Plus. Raspberry Pis are available again. So I'll have every pie um, on my desk here. That was the missing one. In fact, the, that pie is in my... Uh, my arcade cabinet, my classic arcade cabinet. So Gil, R. Hewlett, Nick, Andrew, thank you. Al Alzeth, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. So why subscribe? For so one, you're supporting the channel in a huge way. And two, it gets you access to the DigiPi project. It gets you access to the SD card that's driving this little Raspberry Pi. Right now it's pulling APRS duty, but it'll do every digital mode there is. JSA call, FT8, FL Digi. And you can use all of those modes from the convenience of a web browser or your tablet. Um, so it's kind of like a hotspot, the DigiPi hotspot. Uh, patrons get access to the DigiPi hotspot and uh, it's kind of a, a really a growing community. I mean, look at there's four or 500 of you now. So really, hey, thank you for the support. All right, this has been another KM6 LYW radio production. Thanks for hanging out and helping me with my noise problem. Um, hopefully that wasn't too annoying. Uh, I think I've got this muted for the most part. <laughs> All right, my name is Craig, I'm in California and I am clear. <laughs>